So we solved our problem analytically and using finite element method. This is the code. If I run this code, you can see the mesh and analytic solution and finite element solution. So now let's plot the electric potential on a specific edge and compare the analytic solution with the finite element solution. So in this way, we cannot uh, compare very well. But if I, let me copy this figure and paste it here. So I want to draw an edge in the middle of this square. This is uh, zero distance of this edge and this is one. And I want to plot the electric potential as a function of distance. Something like this. I don't know. We are going to derive, right? So I want to calculate this curve and compare our analytic solution with finite element solution. And also we are going to do counterpart simulation in the ANSYS Maxwell software and compare. So let's use the software, create a new project and insert a Maxwell 2D design. Let's save the project, save it as box problem and I create a box here. So the X component is equal to one meter and this is equal to one meter. The solution type, you know, the solution type is electrostatic, right? And I press OK. So I press E on my keyboard and here I apply a voltage, a fixed voltage. This is one volt. I select these three edges and apply excitation voltage. The voltage of these edges are equal to zero. So we don't need to do any other settings. Add a solution setup. Okay. And right. Let me save the project. And now let's generate the mesh first. So let's plot the mesh. This is initial mesh, right? And let's see. Number of maximum number of passes is 10, right? So let's check the convergence. And after solving the problem, we will plot the solution mesh also. If I run analyze this problem, you will see the electric potential distribution. Here is the solution mesh. We have more refinement here, right? Uh, you know the reason because the voltage on this edge is one and the voltage on this edge is zero. So we have a high gradient voltage gradient here. So the variation of the electric field in this region is high. So we need to have a fine mesh here to generate accurate results. So if I select this object and field voltage plot, you can see the field distribution, right? That is the same as our answer. So now let's draw an edge in the middle of this object. The coordinate is 0 0.5, 1, 0, 0.5, 0, and 0, right? In the middle of this square. So let's run the simulation again, analyze, and let's create a field report 
rectangular plot here in geometry I select polyline 1 you can see number of points here also and from here I select voltage right I select voltage so generate new report and you can see the electric potential as a function of distance right so let's check this answer with our answer here I said nx equal to 21 points so the number of points on the x axis is equal to 21 and what is the index of the mesh point here when the number of points on the x axis is 21 this is 11 right so here i write actually i generate a new figure and index of points is 11 and i should continue by number of nx to nx times n y actually i want to export i want to find index of these points index of these points uh, in the middle index of this point index of this point index of this point so if index of this point is 11 index of this point is 11 plus nx 11 plus nx and so on so how i can generate these indices from 11 to nx times ny nx by nx is the step so if i run this code you can see the index value here right so now i can plot the electric potential this is the exact solution for example index run right because i started from the bottom to the top as actually i can use this function in matlab to reverse uh, this vector to reverse this vector for example if you have a vector like this one two four five if you want to rearrange this vector from the end to the first you can use this function philip left right a now we have four five two one so i can use this function pretty good functions in matlab index is equal to philip left to right of index so also you know that distance is linear space linear a space from zero to one length of index this is the exact solution i hold all solutions so if i run this code you can see the exact solution you can see this solution in the ansys maxwell software and what is the finite element solution uh, so let's set the color to red and i copy this paste finite element solution blue v is our finite element solution right that is here so if i run the code you can see the finite element solution is the same as the exact solution right and also you can compare with the ansys maxwell result if i export this curve export to desktop tab 
save. So this is calculator expression and this Maxwell solution, right? The electric potential as a function of distance. Let me generate a new graph. Generate a rectangular plot, polyline one, voltage, and number of points equal to 20. The same as NY in our MATLAB code. So, export, desktop, tab, save, yes. And you can see this data. I copy and here I generate a new Excel file, paste, so insert a new plot, this is the ANSYS Maxwell solution and what is our solution from here? Workspace. This is our exact solution. Actually, I write here temp a temporary variable that is exact solution of index, the last indices that we calculated. And here is the TMP. Copy. Paste. And this is the exact solution. Also, I can calculate our finite element solution, V. Copy, paste. This is our finite element solution. And as you can see here, we have match between all our results, right? So we generated the same answer. Also, let's check the convergence process. Here you can see the total energy. The total energy is 1.6 e to the power minus 11 to this number. And you can see the energy error and delta energy, right? So, right, you can see the convergence process and the value of total energy here 